2020 is probably going to be your cap space apocalypse, all right? 2020. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about some upcoming contracts that are looming quickly over the Cowboys. This is serious. Cat mode, baby. All right, so the reason why I'm doing this video here is because the whole contract situation that has, uh, that, you know, we're talking about here with the Marcus Lawrence franchise tagged him. Supposedly his camp or him himself is upset, uh, disappointed in the Cowboys. Now, from the, from the player's point of view, you can see that. You can totally see that. You know, he, he's been, uh, he's, he's probably the best defensive player on the team right now you know, at getting at the quarterback. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about it. And he plays the run, all right? That is one thing that uh, that a lot of these uh, other defenders don't do. He does it. You know, so he's willing to get there, get in the, the scrum, and make the tackles for losses. I mean, he, he's an all-around really good player. If Demarcus Lawrence weren't on our team and he was available, he would be one of those players where you're talking about, can we get that guy? You know, he's, I mean, he's, he's legit. He's legit. There's the, there's nothing around it but this whole thing about how much do you pay a guy I think is uh is the business side of the NFL that uh you know some fans you know they don't uh pay too much attention mostly it's like hey pay the guy you know, give him what he wants all right so um <laughs> and uh, these these you know these owners have billions of dollars but you know you are going by the NFL rules the NFL cap there is a cap that you have to keep your team under um, in the NFL. And, and they created that for the parity, you know, to keep the uh, NFL competitive. Some teams, you know, making better moves. You got to have a good GM. You have to have a good coach. You have to have a good scouting department. The Cowboys, they're coming up with some big contracts here. So that's what we're going to talk about. All right. So we know DeMarcus Lawrence is under the franchise tag at $20.5 million. All right. It's almost $21 million for the year. Sign me up, all right? Give me that money. But no, the, these guys, they have a small window, you know? You have to understand these guys are in their 20s. They're trying to create that nest egg and uh, and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, they, they have to capitalize on their on their skill set. And that's what these players are doing. That they're, on, they're, they're looking at the business side as well. So, now for the Cowboys, uh, moving forward, who's coming up? We do have... 2020 is probably going to be your cap space apocalypse, all right? 2020. So that's next season. And then the season after that, another one, the uppercut. So <laughs> it's it's more about uh, it's strategy. It really is, you know? And for the Cowboys, you know, the, the team is homegrown. So your, your free agency is signing your own guys. And since the Cowboys... I put Will McClay in charge of the draft board and, you know, getting all the players lined up. They've uh, enjoyed a lot of success, but now it's time to pay the Reaper. All right. So your success is, could, could also, you know, um, hold you back, which is, which is kind of ironic. You know what I mean? So, um, but let's take a look at this upcoming looming contracts. What are the Cowboys going to do? All right. Look at this 2020. Sean Lee, uh, Amari Cooper, Lyle Collins, Byron Jones, Jalen Smith. He'll be a restricted free agent because he didn't get, he hasn't accumulated enough time due to miss that redshirt year he had his rookie season. Dak Prescott, the big one, Anthony Brown, Blake Jarwin, Antoine Woods. All right, so now I have the estimated values here for these guys. All right, so for 2020, Sean Lee, Supposedly they want him back. Is he ever gonna be here? So that one I didn't really highlight that but he is in there uh, Amari Cooper if they don't work out a long-term deal the approximate Franchise tag amount to franchise tag Amari Cooper would be 18 million dollars. All right uh, Lyle Collins You know, it's looking more and more like, you know, they're looking for another direction there We could even see the guy get drafted in this draft as a possible replacement uh, Byron Jones, you know, I tweeted this earlier. It's going to cost about $17 million if you want to tag him this year. He's on the fifth year option. So do you let him walk or do you have him contract? Jalen Smith, 
that restricted free agent tender. You, I would probably tender him as a first round, but you know, depending on the economics, they may have to tender him a second round. Somebody will probably pluck him. So that one is going to be very dicey in 2020. Dak Prescott, the big one to franchise tag him, is probably going to be a minimum $26 million. Anthony Brown, Blake Jarwin, and Antoine Woods, they round out 2020. All right, so, um, you know, who's getting the contracts? You know, obviously, you're looking at 2020, and, um, you know, Demarcus Lawrence, if, if you extend him, I think what's going on here, Cowboys are trying to, uh, are trying to, Keep this cap under control because if you pay Demarcus Lawrence, what is it? What is he asking for? Is it twenty-five or thirty million dollars a year? He's probably asking up up around there, around the top two, Von Miller and uh, Khalil Mack. So you're probably looking at twenty plus. All right, so that's a big chunk right there. That's ten percent of your cap. Um, so next year, who's getting contracts? All right, look at 2021. Right afterwards, Tyron Crawford. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, he'll get the fifth year option. So in reality, he'll probably be a free agent in 2021. Cheeto Wuzier, Jordan Lewis, Xavier Woods, back to back to back. Big contracts possibly coming up there. I put the prices there. It'll be possibly 19 million. If you want to franchise tag one of those cornerbacks. Um, Xavier Woods, the safety, 14 million. If you want to franchise tag him. So, um, you know, these numbers start adding up, you know, so these are your probably your premier guys and um, you, you can't really keep up with the inflation and the um, The cap number they keep increasing it obviously, but it's not enough to keep up With the with the numbers that the, these players are getting so they can't be like like Oprah Winfrey like you get a contract You get a contract. You're getting a new contract. You're getting a big contract. All right, so who there's gonna be some odd man out. That's just the way it is. It's it, that's it's just the economics of it. So 2020, who who do you want? Dak Prescott's not going anywhere. All right, Amari Cooper, you you gotta have him. So Byron Jones, I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't, you know. And um, I yeah, know it's not about oh you're hating on Byron Jones and all this other shit. No, it's not that, man. It, it this is <laughs> I'm looking at it as who who can they not afford to lose. Amari Cooper, you cannot lose him. Dak Prescott, he's not going anywhere. So for me, um, it's it's probably Byron Jones. All right, seventeen million dollars of franchise tag. What is his, what is his number? They did meet with his representatives at the draft. So ideally, you probably want to try to if you want to bring back Byron Jones, you probably want to work out the deal this year to get a lower number. And I think that's what they're trying to do. You know. Um, hopefully some of these contracts will get ironed out soon because if they leave it, you know, to the franchise tag year or if they leave it to the, the year of their contract expiring, like the Marcus Lawrence, you're going to deal with some difficulties. All right. So that's what we're looking at here with the Marcus Lawrence. You know, you want to see him get a contract, but you can't, you can't be hostage to the player as, as well. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff coming out. There's gonna be articles, um, you know, do you franchise tag him? Do you trade him? What can you get for him? A first and a third? You're not gonna get twos for him. He has a shoulder, um, but I think you could get a first and a third. Is that something that would entertain? Would Demarcus Lawrence want that? If he could find a deal somewhere else, he would probably sign up for that. But then you're left with your defensive line with a gaping hole, all right? Unless you can use those those picks to flip it and get a, a defender. And this draft class is really deep with defenders, all right? So um, all, all options are on the table, guys, for Demarcus Lawrence, for him as well. He could hold out, he could not play, and the Cowboys don't get anything for him. So who's going to blink first, all right? Is this going to become... Uh, is there going to be animosity here? Other players are looking at this. All right, I guarantee you Ezekiel Elliott is looking very closely at this. Uh, Dak Prescott, these guys. Like, how are you? Is it when it comes to my turn? Are you guys going to do this to me? Um. So, it's it's uh, 
it's a thin line that these all, all parties are walking right now everybody's on thin lines so hopefully we can get this out of the way with demarcus lawrence because it's going to become a distraction we don't want it to be a distraction like levy on bell and that kind of thing that that was over their head the whole season all right we don't want that we don't want that so but yeah big contracts coming up and um that kind of thing let me know what you guys think about this what do you, what do you think about the whole demarcus lawrence contract how it's being handled and how do you feel about you know the cowboys as far as moving forward who who would you want to keep you know from these upcoming contracts who could be the odd man out all right who could be the odd man out i really appreciate all you guys you know this has been a really great off season so far covering the combine talking about free agency we're about to get the free agent frenzy on sunday so that's gonna be a lot of fun and uh it's been a lot of fun reading everybody's comments and interacting with you guys so continue to like this video like this it helps out the video continue to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys for the next video peace